To hang the cement board, you're going to need some cement board screws and a drill or an impact driver. I start on the top back of the wall and I can use a full 3x5 cement board. I'll measure just to make sure it's going to fit, but it usually does without cutting it. I screwed a small block to the wall and I'll do it a little bit more than three feet from the ceiling to make it easier when you're working solo. The cement boards are a little heavy and it can be awkward trying to get that first screw in while holding it. Be sure to have your drill and screws where you can reach them. A few moments later. Add a screw along each stud every eight inches. Be careful not to drive the screw too deep. You'll want it just flush with the cement board. You also want to keep it about an inch away from the edges to avoid it crumbling. To get the height for your last board, measure on both ends to the top of the tub flange. The cement board needs to sit on the flange, not the actual tub. The tile will pass the cement board and finish at the tub. Cut the cement board with a utility knife and a straight board or drywall square. Score the board and snap it just like a sheet of drywall. Measure from the ceiling and the wall to get the location of your shower head. I will use a wood auger bit with my drill and it makes the perfect hole.
To cut the square hole around the rough end valve, I'll get my measurement from the top and side, and then I'll remove the plastic guide and use that to mark my board. You can use a drywall hole saw to cut the square and then drill your hole for the spout. I also use the hole saw to cut the pieces that go in front of the tub. Next you will need cement board tape and a putty knife and the mortar that you will use for your tile to tape all of the seams. I add about an inch or two of water and then I'll add the mortar until it's about the consistency of sour cream. I like to make it a little more runny than you would if you were laying tile.
Now after it's coated and it's dried at least overnight, you're ready to waterproof. You can check out my video for that, and make sure you like and subscribe this video if it helped you. Thanks for watching.